Hi family! Um, this is my third attempt at making a video. It is taking forever because I'm trying to include everything in the care package you guys sent me and YouTube only lets you upload 15 minute long videos and I'm like going to 20-25 minutes because you guys sent me all this cool stuff and I just want to like include everything and I am not able to include everything. So I'm going to try to make this one a lot faster. So if I'm talking fast, I'm really sorry. Um, but you know, I just want to like try and include everything. So first off this, I'm sorry this is making it into the video. Um, but I, I mean, unless you want just like a close up of my face. Um, this is my chemo I wear at home for three days. I wear it in a little bag around my neck. See, it's my chemo. Um, so sorry. And I'm uh, sorry about my hair. This is all my hair that I have left. And it's a fuzzball. And it sticks straight out like Pippi Long's doggings because this is what chemo does to me. I have decided not to cut it yet because it's like I still have enough that when I'm not, it's not a chemo day and I wash it, it looks really nice still. Sorry. For the traffic and the fact that my nose is really itchy. Also part of the chemo. So if through this video I'm sitting here, you know scrubbing my nose it's because my skin around it is really dry and uh yeah anyways sorry okay i'm already a minute and a half in so i gotta hurry um i will do a hat fashion show so first of all can you guys please whoever has a laptop show this to grandma janona and um and i don't know if Aunt velma has an email or not but i i told her that i'd take pictures so maybe if anyone can send her or email her this video so she can see that the hats look so cute on me. I can't take it. I'm in love. All right. So, hat show. Ready? Don't judge me for my hair. Okay. Oh, God, that's bad. That is so bad. Cancer hair. Woo! Looks way better with the hat on, though. Trust. All right. You can, like, see through it. Jeez. I swear when I'm not on a chemo day, my hair looks a lot better. Today's just a particularly bad hair day. Hat number two. Very cute. This one is does not have a flower, but I still like it um, quite a bit. Um, and then we have this pink one. This one's kind of tight, but I, I, I still think it looks good. And I have a lot of stuff that will match all of these, like, perfectly. Um, and then here's purple. And again, I mean tons, tons of outfits that'll match these, like, really well. Ta-da! Uh, another blue one that's like the one I just put on. This one here's brown. This one's brown. Uh, very, very, very cute. And, 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 and actually, it's cool, because my grandpa told my Aunt Velma she's, like, a wizard when it comes to making hats and so he told her Rachel you know uh, she gave me a hat a year and a half ago at my well a year and a half ish ago or a year ish somewhere around there um, during my mom's funeral she she gave me a white one with a little flower on it and I mentioned to my grandpa that I wore it out like I have completely and totally just devoured it. Here's the one that my grandpa sent me, and I this is so cute. And I seriously like I have a dress that I got with um that actually fits me because I've lost a billion pounds. Uh, I just got a dress that's denim colored, um, with a gift card from like my stepmom gave me a gift card like three years ago, and so I just bought this denim dress, and this hat matches it perfectly. So I actually have a really really cute hip little chemo chemo chic thing going on now and I love red like see the lips come on red is my color so this is great oh and then here's this one I think this is my favorite one from Aunt Velma um, so I'll wear this for the rest of the video because I think it's super cute but there you go ta-da dark green and light green and I have a million things that will match all these colors so Thank you so much. I mean, I was in dire need of these items. You have no idea because I literally, like, that white hat, you have no idea. I It's dirty. Like, you know, I sweat it into it because then you go, like, you get plugged in for chemo. And half the time it's like you're burning and the other half the time you're freezing and you go back and forth. And so, 
Yeah, the hat like completely was. I mean, I wore it. I wore it out. So, thank you so much, Aunt Velma. I love you. I don't know how you made all of these in the time it took for you to like find out. I mean, I only mentioned that to Grandpa like a week ago. So you must have seriously busted out with these knit hats. And this one, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is so cute. Seriously, I'm just, I'm in like Rachel heaven with all these little knit hats. And I think they look a lot better on me now that I've lost all this weight. So Grandma Janona, I want to tell you, I don't know if you can tell, but here's a, here, we'll do a before and after picture. This was a year ago. My phone is ringing in the other room. This was a year ago. I have lost 150 pounds in the last year. And I mean, you know, cancer's not the way you want to lose weight, but beggars can't really be choosers. Am I right? And I'm still shrinking every week I go in. So a couple pounds down each week. By the time you see me, I'm going to turn sideways and disappear. So I know that that was always kind of like a touchy thing for you. And actually, what they told me now is that part of the reason that I got so big is because the tumor was set in a place where it was messing up my hormones and causing a lot of um, the way it processed my food. It turned a lot of things into sugars. And I know I was always a chubby kid, but I mean, it, it got kind of crazy. And this was like right before I was diagnosed, like maybe a month before. So it, I mean, it's a big, it was a big deal. So tumors are gone. I'm feeling better. I'm gonna move forward now because I don't want to have this video be over 15 minutes. I have to go really fast. So uh, my Aunt Stacy sent me these three photos and a little card. The card says, very cute. Um, Dear Rachel, I decided to send you a couple pictures to go with Al's care package for you. First is the original picture I wanted to send. That's this one. Second is Barry bombing the photo. Ha! Huh? That's my Uncle Barry in the background bombing the photo. And otherwise it is Natalie. I think this, I, I guess she's considered my cousin, Barbara. She's my second cousin or great cousin and then my Uncle Barry and my Aunt Stacy and big old fat me. And then the third one is her favorite photo of Aunt Velma. This is the woman who made me all these hats. It's my grandma's sister. Um, and she says she has this one framed. Love you, Aunt Stacy. I'm definitely going to frame these. I have lots of frames that I've collected over the years, and I need to update them. Next, I got... Oh, no, where's the other one? <gasps> Come on. Uh, this is my grandparents' balloon. Uh, their current balloon, which is... Where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. Um, I can't remember the name of this one. I think it's called, is it High Hopes or Hope Flies? High, high Love, Love, Love Floats. It's something high, something. Let's, and then this one, um, Mothra, which I thought was named Mariposa, which is Spanish for butterfly, but it, maybe its original name was Mothra. Um, and it's got, um, piloted by Alan Sanderson, Albany, Oregon. So maybe he has this, I thought they sold this balloon, but it says Albany, Oregon. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to keep going. I have to go fast because we're already up to almost 10 minutes. Super cute of Natalie when she was a little girl. Oh my God. She's so tiny here. She's still really tiny. Um, and then I got some really cool uh, Pranger Decal, the company my grandpa and my mom owned, which made bumper stickers. Um, and then some cool cards of just, I guess, from when my grandma, data processing consultant, and Jen Sanderson is a member in good standing of the ATD Management Association. That's kind of cool. I love little things like that. I've always loved cute little things. This one, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I don't know if this was to Big Grandma or from, from Big Grandma, but it's got her name in. Big Grandma is my great-grandmother, um, and she's she's since passed, but um, I guess this was to someone, because it looks like her handwriting to me, from what I recall, and I love... I live on a really loud road, so that happens sometimes. It's like dead at night, but during the day you get a motorcycle going by and it sounds like really loud. 
Um, anyways, very cool. And then um, these last ones, well, I'll do this one too. I had some, some little artwork stuff, some some um, Valentine's cards and stuff that, that I guess we gave to Grandma. My sister and I gave to my Grandma when we were younger, so that's really cool. And then this is from my dance recital. I can't believe they kept this, but this was my dance recital when I was around the same age as I was, or in this picture you're about to see, but I'm probably about seven. And I was in um, a bunch of uh, little dances trying to see where my name is so I can put it up close. I guess I wasn't on the first page. Or was I? I guess not. Um, oh no, that's the back page. The front page. I thought I was on the front page. I was. And I don't know where it is now. And I'm wasting precious time of video, but I was going to put my name up to the... Because it took me a second. Here we go. Front page. Siamese twins. Kind of racist. Uh, and I was in, I was in three of them, but I, I'm only going to manage to find two, and then Ball and Jack. See, there I am. Rachel Gruton. I was a dancer, a tap dancer, when I was younger. My mom had me in tap dance. Um, here's a card that my mom sent to my grandma, um, a Mother's Day card. It says, to my own dear mama, happy Mother's Day, love Susan. I hope you have a great Mother's Day. I wish I could be there to give you a hug. And then a million X's and O's. I love that I have this. Thank you so much. This is something I will cherish. It is a picture of my mother and father on their reception, I believe, because um, they got married and they had the reception on a different day. I love this picture because my dad is 19. He's now 53, and my mom is 24 in this picture, and she passed away a year ago, a year and a half ago-ish, um, at 56. And I love this picture because they actually both look happy and young and vital and not, not the, what, you know, people change. But I love this picture because it's just, it's just when they were happy. And I mean, you can see it on their faces. Like they're so happy for what the rest of their life is going to hold. And then they had Natalie and I. And here's the two that are the hardest. And I'm going to try really hard not to cry this time. This is my third go at this video, and I have like a minute and a half left. <laughs> Trying to keep it under 15 minutes. I can do it. Woo! My mom drew this picture of her dog, Poochie. And she put two poems on it. One, Poochie's first poem. Whenever mommy yells at me, I pee. Puppy's second poem. I am a dog. I am not a cat. When I eat their poop, it makes me yak. And I remember mom showing me this when, when we were still at the Campbell house and she was so proud of this picture that she drew of her little dog, so this puppy dog down at the bottom. And I've, yeah, I've seen this before and I've thought about it since then, which is funny that you guys would think to send me this, but I will cherish it. And here is the, possibly the most precious item. This is a newspaper clipping from when I was seven years old. And you can see my mom had made some anti-Saddam Hussein bumper stickers, sticking it to Saddam. And I am just looking up at her, cherishing her in this picture. And that's pretty much how I lived my life. My cat's here going to say hi. This is Bobby. He's a jerk. Hi. Hello, family. Um, he actually, Aunt Stacy, the little, um, get off my stuff. The little, the little bird toy you sent, he claimed it already, like instantly. The second I pulled it out, he was like, mine. So my cat has that. I have a minute left. So anyways, this is fat. I mean, it says, for those of... For those who want to sound off against Saddam Hussein, a mother-daughter team has provided a couple of messages at a cost of $1 each. Susan Routon and her seven-year-old daughter, Rachel, set up shop Tuesday at Almaden Road and Curtin Avenue in San Jose selling bumper stickers that blast the Iraqi president. Later he died, or was killed by us. Um, and where we're sitting in this picture is now a Jiffy Lube. So I actually made it through this time without crying because I had a lot of practice. And I have 30 seconds left so I can put this on YouTube. So let me just say, I love you all so much. I miss you. I'm coming soon. It looks like it's going to be May. So about a month and a half, I'm going to be up there with you guys. I love you so much, Grandma, Grandpa, Aunt Velma, Aunt Stacy, everybody. And I send you all my love. And thank you so much. This all was very needed. And it touched my heart. And I love you. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon.